Hello and welcome to jdravingschool.com. My name is Jay Shri Somaya and my driving school name is Jay's A-1 Driving School. Today I will discuss other point from the driving test paper. Thank you. Please like my videos, share them and subscribe to my channel. Please help others. Tell your friends to watch it too. They will help them in their driving test. Thank you. And when you subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so you receive the notification before others when I upload the new videos. Thank you. Now the next point is checking the internal rear vision mirror regularly to monitor following traffic. Let's see what does that mean. Now these three lanes are going in this direction. You are sitting in this car in the middle line. It says checking the internal rear vision mirror regularly to monitor following traffic. So when there are no cars beside you, then you check your rear vision mirror. When to check your rear vision mirror? When there are no cars beside you or when you are not coming close to the parked car, then you must watch the road and keep on going. After you pass the park car, again, you can glance in your rear vision mirror. Checking means glancing. You are not staring in the mirror because you are driving straight ahead. Watching the road in front is more important than staring in the rear vision mirror or side mirrors. So when to check it? When there are no cars beside you like this. When there are cars beside you, you can't look in the mirror, because otherwise your car can go slightly this way or that way. So, when you look in the mirror, when these cars pass, when this car passes you, and you think, okay, then quick look in the mirror before the other car comes beside you, because there will be always gap between the two cars. So once the car passes you, then look in the mirror before this car comes beside you. The rear vision mirror will show you all the cars coming from behind you from all the lines. The, when you look in the mirror, when there are no cars beside you or no parking cars coming ahead beside you, and when you glance in your rear vision mirror, and if you see a big car behind you, then that car will block your vision from rear vision mirror, the vision of these two cars, because this car is bigger and it's blocking the side lanes. Then if you want to see in the side lanes, quick glance in the right side mirror for the right lane car and left side external mirror, I mean, to see the left lane cars. Those external mirrors will give you deeper view of those lanes. So left uh, external mirror will give you deeper view of the left lane and the right external mirror will give you deeper view of the right lane. But if all the cars are small, if but if there is a small car be right behind you, then your rear vision mirror will give you deeper view of all the lanes from coming from behind you, all the three lanes, because it gives you wider view of the back. So that's how, so whenever there is no car coming closer to you from any direction, even if you're driving in this lane and there's no car coming from opposite direction near you, when it is far away, you can quick glance in your mirror. But when he comes closer to you, you watch the road and keep your wheel straight and stay inside your line and watch and then let that car go, then you can quick glance in your rear vision mirror. But when that car is too close to you, or even oncoming car, do not look in the rear vision mirror. Watch the road ahead well, otherwise by mistake you will go into the oncoming car. So these are very important timings when to look in the rear vision mirror, as well as the blind spot is the same thing. You always check your blind spot when there are no cars near you, when there is no danger near you. Do not check your blind spot at that time either. Thank you. Your comments are welcome. And if you have any questions, please ask. Thank you.